Hello, I'm Big Tall Bill, and welcome to a new series of showcases for PHP Storm plugins. Yes, I managed to read my notes. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is a new series where I will be looking at certain plugins. Maybe not features, because PHP Storm or the IntelliJ guys tend to have a very good YouTube channel where they go over their own features. I want to go over some of the plugins or productivity plugins and things like that which are going on. These videos are generally supposed to be quick. I'll cover one or two plugins. In this video I'm going to be covering Ace Jump and Frame Switcher, which are two which um, admittedly I don't use Ace Jump as much, but I'm trying to use it much. But Frame Switcher I use all the time and I'm not sure if that will eventually just become a feature of PHP Storm, but anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So the first one up is Ace Jump. Now Ace Jump is if you're like me and you like to stay on the keyboard as much as possible, you know, you don't want to be reaching for your mouse constantly, then um, it's, you know, and you work in an IDE, you don't use Vim or whatever, you know, I'm famously not very in support of something like Vim. So but anyway, let's not try to start Holy War on the first episode, shall we? <laughs> um, seriously, don't. Um, all right, so what does HGM do? Well, let's do a quick demonstration. Say I want to get to, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm currently around here on these lines, and I want to get to somewhere else in my visual range, but I don't particularly want to just do this or, uh, you know, a find, like, you know, I don't necessarily want to do something like that. That you know, it's admittedly kind of simple to do that. But let's see what this does. So all I do is hit control colon. It gives me this little box. And I can just type a single character into here. So like R, for instance, and N. That take me to that remove. So if I want to get to, say... I'm going to point with my cursor because you guys can't see me pointing in real life. Um, I say I want to get to this function, you know, you could do a find to get to it, sure. But you could also do gc done, you're there. So in slow motion, what that was, was me doing control colon g and then it gives you this list of things to go to, things to jump to. And you just you just strike that key. Now, what's interesting is when you have more than uh, the number of characters there are in the alphabet worth of results on the page. So, like E, for instance, gives you tons because he's the most common character. Um, so, like, say I want to get to this one. It's just so that one is a Y T. You just quickly strike them. Like, it's not like a big deal. Like there's there's definitely a millisecond delay in there somewhere, so I, I think you have to be quite quick with it. Actually, let's, let's give that a go, shall we? So let's say I want to get to here. So if I go Y. Ah, okay. So E, and then I want to go to Y. Took me there, interesting. Uh, let's just do that again. See if I want to get to here, so it'd be Y. Ah, that's interesting. So within the range of things, there is no other Y. Oh, there's then something quite interesting there, I guess. So that would be Y, C. And yeah, and then it would take me. Very interesting. Anyway, I didn't know how that worked exactly. It must do some sort of exclusion where it, can't, it can never have a duplicate key, I suppose. You know, air quotes, key on, on the page. But anyway, you can see how that would be kind of useful if you can get into the habit of using it. And um, I'm certainly not, like I said, I'm not in the habit of using it yet. For me, it's um, it's it's hard to build up that kind of um, habit after just doing silly things like this and then uh, Command F. So if I just do a few more things, so if I want to go here, it only works with single characters. So you can't like type another character because the next character is where you want to jump. I find useful ones are things like semicolons because you know it's generally a very a fairly small list of things. 
so it gives you a nice uh, easy thing to search for or like um you know generally you want keys which you can just strike quickly not anything which requires a modifier so if i wanted to jump to anything which is like an open brace for instance you have to then hit shift to, to do an open brace and that that's cool as well because that gives you access to just like an alpha alphabetized list of your functions which is kind of nice and of course this only works in the visual space so like you i've gone to the habit of using page up and page down to jump through things or just using the find to find something that's not that I can see. Ace jump is more about jumping to things which you can see, like, um, you know, things like that, which is cool. It allows you to stay on the keyboard and um, just keep typing, keep going. Um, when I use it, I'm quite quick, but I tend to forget that I have it and just end up doing stupid things like holding down the arrow keys. <laughs> Just because my hand rests there and I tend to like do that. It should really be resting closer to the um, colons. But anyway, so that's ace jump. Uh, you can find that on the the old the old plugins thing, which is somewhere in the settings now. I'm not used to the new uh, settings exactly. There it is. It's under editor, apparently. Is that under there? Oh, it's just... Okay, it's just a top level thing, but I apparently you can't see. <laughs> Plugins, there you go. And you can you can find Ace Jump by looking through the repositories. I believe it's in here. Yep, there it is. So you can find that in there and install that as you will. Okay, so the next one is called Frame Switcher. And Frame Switcher allows you to jump between frames i guess <laughs> to me it's projects so um jumping between different projects so if i hit this you'll see all of my projects i can jump to this one it'll ask me to open it for space and it's open that project and then if i do that again i can jump to this one i i believe there are more shortcuts to just jump to like kind of like alt tabbing you could use alt tab i guess but you know alt tab doesn't work as well with uh, multiple windows of an application unless you have all of the um, expose A or mission control um, shortcuts hooked up. I don't know how they work. Uh, like I said, I'd like to stay entirely on the keyboard. Maybe you can. I'm not as savvy with these things, but I know how PHP Storm works and it, if it can solve a problem for me, then why not? Um, so there you go, yeah, I can jump between these projects and just be generally efficient. So I set up the shortcut to do this as um, shift command and then numpad zero. So for me, it's kind of, I kind of rest across the keyboard in a very bad fashion. And that to me is a more natural um, way to do it. So that's how mine's set up. But you can change this uh, the key to whatever you want. I don't, I think the reason I had to set a key was because it didn't work originally, so you may have to set the key. But um, it works though, so I had no problems with it so far. End up with a lot of projects open, but uh, that's not so bad. As long as you have a powerful enough machine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's it really. Um, I'll put links to these directly to the IntelliJ plugin repository in the video description below. And um, I'll hope you guys have a fantastic time trying these out. I'll see you next time.